Hello, my name is Lee Dawson with Quality One, and we're here to talk about failure mode and effects analysis, or FMEA. Now, why do we do an FMEA? An FMEA is performed in order to capture potential technical risks, in order to take countermeasures to, on those risks, in order to reduce the probability of failure. Now, in an FMEA, risk is the substitute for failure, and as such, we treat it just as if a failure was in our hands. That's to say that if the risk has been determined by a team of people, a cross-functional team that is, and essentially once that risk has been determined, we take an action in order to remove it so that the failure will not occur. Now, we don't like to uh, suggest that anyone try uh, to do an FMEA without some kind of knowledge or some kind of understanding of how the process works as it can be kind of confusing. But the board behind me it shows a typical FMEA form, and you can see there's fairly, a fairly large number of columns that can be confusing to most people who are, who, are, who are just starting out doing FMEA. Now, the idea behind an FMEA is to break it up into three equal portions. The pre-work portion, which includes the first four columns of the FMEA, includes the functions, failure modes, effects, and the severity rankings for each of the uh, failure modes and their effects. The second portion of the FMEA is all about causes, prevention methods, and occurrence. Sometimes uh, when uh, people are looking at this appropriately, they use the, that second portion to determine special characteristics that might be uh, passed forward from a design FMEA to a process FMEA. The last section of the FMEA is the design controls or process controls. And this design controls column is all about what tests and methods would be available for testing for a particular failure mode or causing a particular failure mode to occur in the test itself by exciting that failure mode in its cause. In a process FMEA, the process controls column is how I will catch or prevent a defect from being produced or uh, from getting out of the shop, uh, basically uh, protecting the customer in the future. The, in the process FMEA, the process controls section is related to the control plan which determines how much and how, how many, or excuse me, the control plan, which determines how often and with what tools we will check and verify that a particular process is running appropriately. So that just gives you a, a pretty good rough idea of what an FMEA does. And essentially, we'll get into more details in further video uh, shoots. Oh,